Hey guys, this is Mega Monkeys with a super quick tip tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to keep uh, whatever attribute manager you want. Because uh, you see, I'm working with Expresso uh, user data here to control my uh, my animation, and uh, I would like to keep that. And so I don't want if I go to the selection tool to uh, to go to that. I want it to always be um, on what I'm working on. So super easy solution, just click the lock, go between tools, it stays there. Another thing you might want to try is clicking this little plus and that will pop it up into a new window. And uh, you can keep it floating. I like to put mine, uh, just dock it right here. Um, and then you have all of your stuff and you can still have your your tool attributes here as well as your object attributes. Um, and doesn't have to be user data, you can work with whatever you want. Um, another thing that you might want to do is uh, just going here and make sure you have in filter your HUD turned on and you can um, select whatever you're working with just by clicking and then shift clicking the last one, right click, add to HUD and that will add a um, an overlaid. Uh, you can see it's partially transparent uh, manager, and you can you still have all of the control that you do here. Uh, you can change all of uh, all of your attributes that you could in the normal window, and you can still uh, keyframe by control clicking. Um, and uh, you can control click on the um, on the HUD dialogue to uh, move it around and uh, and yeah that's it thank you for watching I hope you learned something goodbye